Construction work often requires moving materials around the job site that involves pushing, pulling, and lifting. Because construction materials are often heavy and awkward, you should pay special attention to moving them by hand or with the help of a crane or forklift. Material handling starts with safe storage of items on the job site. When choosing a storage area, think about how you're going to move materials with a forklift. You'll need enough room for the forklift to move around. If you're going to move it manually by hand, make sure you can get to it without hurting your back. Make sure stored materials don't block access to or from an exit, like the stairs or in front of doors. And make sure storage areas are kept organized and clean so nobody trips on materials. Finally, make sure you secure all storage. Keep these things in mind. Do not exceed maximum safe load limits of floors used for storage. Keep aisles and passageways clear to provide for the free and safe movement of material handling equipment. Stack bagged materials by stepping back the layers and cross keying the bags at least every 10 bags high. Do not store more materials than you need on scaffolds or runways. Do not stack bricks higher than seven feet in height. Do not stack masonry blocks higher than six feet. Do not stack lumber piles higher than 20 feet, mechanically or 16 feet manually. Manually lifting heavy items is one of the leading causes of injury in the workplace, and overexertion and cumulative trauma are the biggest factors contributing to these types of injuries. The main risk factors associated with injuries in manual material handling include awkward postures, repetitive motions, forceful exertions, pressure points, and static postures. Repeated or continual exposure to one or more of these factors can initially lead to fatigue and discomfort, but over time, more serious injury to the back, shoulders, hands, wrists, or other parts of the body can occur. But there are ways to lessen and avoid injury exposure. Whenever possible, the following safe practices can help. Always seek help when lifting heavy or awkward loads. Avoid awkward postures, such as reaching behind the body, bending forward and to the side, and twisting when pushing and pulling materials. Avoid holding items for a long period of time, such as when installing fixtures, even if loads are light. Beware of weather conditions. Cold temperatures can cause decreased muscle flexibility, while excessively hot temperatures can lead to dehydration and fatigue. When carrying material across the job site, make sure you can see where you're going and take the clearest path always paying attention to where you're going. One of the best ways to avoid injury is to know the correct technique for safe lifting. One, stand close to the load with your feet spread shoulder width apart. One foot should be slightly in front of the other for balance. Two, squat down, bending at the knees. Do not bend at your waist. Tuck your chin while keeping your back as vertical as possible. Three, Get a firm grasp of the object before beginning the lift. Four, slowly begin straightening your legs. Do not twist your body during this step. Five, once the lift is complete, keep the object as close to the body as possible. If the load's center of gravity moves away from your body, there is a dramatic increase in stress to the lumbar region of the back. In addition to safe lifting, planning ahead for a job can always help avoid injuries. Use mechanical means such as dollies, hoists, or forklifts. Use ramps or lift gates to load machinery into trucks rather than lifting manually. Order supplies in smaller quantities and break down loads off-site. Rotate tasks so employees are not exposed to the same activity for too long. Store heavier containers so that they can be handled safely. Utilize proper handholds, including handles, slots, or holes, with enough room to accommodate gloved hands. Always wear proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, to avoid finger injuries. Change your work routine often. Take regular breaks and break tasks into shorter segments to allow muscles adequate time to rest. When using mechanical equipment to move and store materials, workers should avoid overloading equipment. Let the size, weight, and shape of the material being moved dictate the type of equipment used. All materials handling equipment has rated capacities that determine the maximum weight the equipment can safely handle and the conditions under which it can handle that weight. Employers must only allow forklift operators with the proper training and qualifications to operate the equipment safely. 
Most injuries that happen as a result of materials handling and storage can be prevented by following these safe work practices. With good planning and awareness of potential dangers, your job site can be safe and injury-free.